Hey Tiam guys, welcoming you back to the channel, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Um, today I wanted to share a click I got. So this program, Paramashivam Level 2, is happening and um, during the Darshan today. I had um, a very strong click, which I want to share with you all. And um, also at the same time, inviting you to consider, uh, sincerely consider to attend Paramashivam Level 2, which is going to uh, happen again uh, April 5th. So uh, yes, so check it out. I'll put the website link in the link below. Um, I would really encourage you to consider it. Uh, for various reasons, but mainly for you to have deeper insights about who you are, how you function, and um, how conscious intervention can transform your life. And um, yeah, so the program is it's very compact. There's a lot of stuff, para manifestation, darshans of Swamiji, various sessions that helps you to, um, to, to realize that, to align your inner space, to integrate your inner space, and to invoke, invite that conscious intervention to happen, to invite Swamiji to come, Swamiji's grace to come and um, shift things in your life, especially where you are stuck and you are frustrated, sad, depressed, bored, tired, all these things, these uh, low frequency spaces that we cherish when we are stagnating. Um, the click I got today, it's about um, Advaita and how everything is a reflection of us. So I had this click where we are not fully aware of it. If you're enlightened, you are. If you're not, you're not fully aware. In our inner space, we cherish various things, various thought currents. And we constantly project these thought currents onto the physical objective reality. And so each thing in life will reflect a certain amount of the space that we generate from our inner space. So, some people or some objects or some situations or some things will reflect, will reflect various things. But we get what the, the problem that happens when we are deluded, when we cherish delusion is, we, we think it is coming from outside. We do not realize that it is a reflection of something that we are projecting. That it's like a rays of light which are being, being projected from the inner space and a certain person or a certain situation, a certain object will reflect a certain amount of that light. But the thing is that we are deluded and we feel that they are emitting that light. They are not emitting that light. They are reflecting the light that we emit. So um, that's a very powerful click because it, force, it makes us realize and take responsibility for what is happening. It is not, like I said, if somebody was, if, some, if you believe somebody is emitting something, then they will be responsible. So you will not take the responsibility for it. And actually, that is not true. Um, there is no such thing as that. The consciousness, which is us, which is residing within this body and mind and everything, it is radiating and manifesting the life that I cognize, for instance. And everything that I cognize is something that is generated in my inner space. So realizing what is being reflected, what thought current or what space is being reflected by someone, somebody, some situation, some object, and seeing if that reflection is aligned to what I want or not. Ultimately, when you become in, in pure oneness with Paramashiva and the Shuddha Advaitam, that pure oneness with Swamiji, with Paramashiva, with Guru, you only project Paramashivatwa, Paramashivoham. So when you only project Paramashivoham, you see Paramashivoham everywhere. Everything is Paramashivoham. But when you do not fully project Paramashivoham, if you only, for instance, if you only project 40% of the space Paramashivoham, then 60% of the, uh, uh, that of the rest of your space is projecting something else. So these various things are constantly going to be reflected by someone, some people, some objects, some situations, like I mentioned many times so far. And um, when we see that, when we cognize that, oh, I am perceiving something which is not the space of Paramashivoham, then I have to remember that, oh, it is my projection. So I have to look into me 
and see what by 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 seeing what is being reflected for example if i see agitation or impatience it is my projection so i have to realize i should realize that oh this is impatience this is a reflection of me of my space so then you will infuse a lot of awareness inside your inner space identify the part of you which is cherishing impatience and consciously decide to break that to remove that from your life because impatience is not the space of Paramashivam and like that you will transform that part of that 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 memory that thought current in you you will discard it consciously you will remove it and you will decide to cherish the space of Paramashivam instead and by constantly doing that then we regain the full powerfulness of our inner space until everything that we generate is only Paramashivam which is the space that Swamiji is in. So we should not get deluded and fight with the outside world when we see something that we don't like because we should remember that it is a projection of us. It is not something that is generated from outside. It is something which is being projected from inside and reflected by outside. So uh, by doing that, you will automatically become more restful, more settled, and you will be able to, you know, consciously um, realign yourself and start to erase your space basically and when you do that then life changes because everything is a reflection of what we cherish so that was the click I got today I thought it was very powerful because I feel that the, pr the principle of Advaita oneness is very difficult to understand it's actually impossible to understand you have to kind of experience it but some understanding will lead you to experiencing it and like that experience will lead to more understanding, more understanding will lead to more higher experience and like that it goes until it becomes pure experience. And, um, but yeah, it's very powerful. So getting fighting with the outside world because we feel that this is, this is not, I don't like this or whatever, is a very childish relationship with ourselves. Uh, we have to constantly remind ourselves that no, it is a projection of me and you have to start to attend to that inside of you. If you, see so if you feel that somebody is impatient, if somebody is reflecting impatience for you, look in within your life, within yourself, within your day and see at which moment you cherished that space of impatience. And the moment you catch that space, you decide, no, from now onwards, I will no longer be impatient and you will just stop being impatient. For example, if you're cutting the vegetables and you're in a hurry, you're impatient, you just want to cook fast and in that space, then the next time you see, you'll cut the vegetables patiently. You will not be like hurrying through the vegetables because you're impatient, you want the food right away and you don't want to spend the time necessary for cooking it, for instance. So like that, identify what it is and attend it to it in your life. And you will see that when you change that in your life, automatically you will stop experiencing some things in your life because... Again, everything we experience is a reflection of our inner space. So that was a very powerful click I got during today. Today we had Munishwar Darshan, so it was amazing. And um, this is the click I got. And I wanted to share with all of you and uh, inspire you to contemplate on it and to live it and see how this can, how it transforms your life on a day-to-day -day basis. So yes, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanking you again for watching, inviting you to share these videos with friends if you feel that this content is useful. Uh, check the link for the Paramashivam Level 2 in the description below. Watch Nityan the TV on a regular basis, listen to Swamiji's satsangs. Swamiji is revealing these things. He's allowing us to again to re remember the knowledge which we have forgotten and, um, and implementing it in our life and realizing that we are Paramashiva. And there's no need to cherish any low spaces of powerlessness of victimhood, of guilt, of fear, of anger, of sadness or depression, all these things um, are self-generated and we should uh, stop <laughs> generating it <laughs> so we can have a more blissful life. So that being said, thank you again for watching. Like, subscribe, click the bell icon, comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Nityananda.